how to set up Calendly Stripe integration. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up the Calendly and a Stripe integration. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Calendly.com. Then you need only to sign in or sign up for an account as you can see. And here we have the dashboard. The second thing that I want you to do is to head over Stripe and also sign in into your account. So the browser will recognize your account and also recognize you to facilitate the integration. So make sure that you have a, a Stripe account and this Stripe account should be finalized. And by finalized, I mean that you need to put all of the information that you have about your business and it will be right here, uh, ready to collect some payments. So as you can see here, I didn't uh, made the finalization of the account. So whenever I will go ahead and activate the payment, you are going to uh, continue activating the payment by providing the information. And this is something that it will be uh, not uh, very easy for you because it will uh, take a lot of time from you. So Make sure that you have already uh, activated your account and set up all the information that uh, Stripe require from you. Now, once you are there, you're going to head over Calendly again. And now we're going to visit the integration and apps within the platform. So as you can see at the left bar menu, we have the events and the meetings. So we are going to head over the at integrations and apps and from then we are going to see the integrations so if you don't see the integration uh, that we need right there which is stripe from the beginning you are going simply to choose the category of payments so we are going to click on payments and boom here we have two integrations we have stripe and we have a paypal so you are going to install this integration in order to collect the payments before the meeting. And this is a very, very accurate payment method. So you are not going to be scammed or uh, getting at the payment after the meeting. Maybe some people will pay you. Maybe some will scam you and will not. So we are going simply to add it. So I'm going to select Stripe and then you are going to see here the benefits that we have into the uh, integration. The first one is going to be uh, automatically collect full or partial payment at the time an event is scheduled. Allow our clients to pay with a debit or credit card, which is very, very accurate from uh, Stripe. The requirements is Stripe account that supports live charges. Create an account within Stripe with just a click from here a standard Calendly subscription. So we are going to click on connect with Stripe and then you need to uh, upgrade first before adding the integration of Stripe to your uh, standard uh, integration or your standard uh, plan from Calendly. So you need to click on upgrade and then you're going to get a monthly or a yearly or their subscription put up your uh, credit card, your PayPal, then you are going to be upgraded. After that, when you click on Stripe again or connect with Stripe, it will show up here a pop-up box that will take you to Stripe and finalize the uh, payments. Now, back to our Calendly, I am going to show you how we can create some events or meetings within the platform. So you are going to know well how we can collect and set up the payment and also the prices. So as you can see at the beginning and also the admin dashboard here, we are going to see the list of the meetings that we have. So if you want to create the meetings, you're going to click on create. Now we have three types of events or meetings. We have the event type, which is going to be a, a regularly scheduled event. A one off meeting, which is going to be uh, to invite someone to pick a time to meet with you this will be well set for coaching personal trainers and etc or personal tutors and the meeting poll you are going to schedule a group meeting after offering times for a vote 
for example here you are going to set whatever you want if you don't want to include some vote or poll you're going to set up a event type meeting so let's go ahead and set up the event type now here we are going to choose what type of event that we want we have one-on-one -on -one, we have group collective more than one host with a one invitee for example you have three trainers uh let's say here that the three of them will give uh, some uh propositions suggestions and some comments to the invitee so we are only one invitee and you're going to sit it right there or so also we have the round robin which is one rotating host with one invitee so right there we are going to select for example one or a group i'm going to select a group so you're going to set up the uh, uh these one but unfortunately the group will not work with the uh, trial or the standard or the free version it will work only with the um the most advanced subscription so i am going to choose a normal event or a one-on-one -on -one event now with this one we are going to have the event color customize the event for example we are going to put it here this bluish now we are going to put a name for the event for example let's say here uh coaching coaching and for the duration you can go ahead and control it custom or you can go ahead and put it here a max of 30 45 minutes so for the location you can either go ahead and put a physical location or a virtual location which could be a phone call a zoom call in person meeting this is a, a physical uh, here location or you can ask the invitee get the google meet microsoft team webex or go to meeting so you are going to set up for example a phone call and then you are going to upgrade of course so we are going to set it as in a person meeting and that is going to be for example in new york let's say that and then we are going to click on update click on continue now we are going to set up the uh, parameters here we have the event details uh, you can go ahead and put uh, the description for example right there you are going to benefit benefit uh, of a, a one on one it is going to be like that one on one meeting to uh, let's say here uh, answer all your questions about let's say e-commerce e-commerce boom now we are going to set the point here save and close now after that you are going to set the host and the invitee you can allow the invitee to add guests or not i'm going to not allow it schedule the meeting you're going to sit here uh 60 calendar days for example or uh three or two calendar days in the future uh can in the future for example 60 yes we are going to put it as 60 within a date a date range and definitely into the future like that and uh, for here we are going to set up the uh weekly hours day specific hours and etc working hours in resume and you can set up a buffer time minimum notice daily limit and etc so when you finish that we're going to set up the uh book and page option you can go ahead and require the name email and also the questions for example you can go ahead and put a question now we are going to see the last part which is notification and workflows you can set up some automations or workflows right there and etc you can set up text reminders email reminders email follow-up and etc now we are going to uh, set up here share but where is the payment i didn't see the price of the uh the payment so we are going to set up here share and this is the meeting 
So for the payments, you're going to head over the booking page option. And as you can see, we have collect on payment form. You are going to collect payment and set up here the um, payment of Stripe or PayPal that we have mentioned at the beginning of the video. So you need also to upgrade that uh, to the standard to make sure that everything will work well. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next.